Hello everyone, this is Raja Rao. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a brand new feature called Automated Maintenance that was released as part of version 10.6. But before we get into the details, let's first understand what a maintenance looks like when someone is using Apple Tools. Okay, the first step is to write the test and then execute the test and then verify the test results. And if you see any test steps that are marked as unresolved, then you'll need to manually take action and see if you need to add any regions such as ignore regions to that step. And then mark the test step as either a pass or a fail. And this is how you will let Applitools know that it should mark the subsequent test runs as either a pass or a fail instead of undecided. And this is what is known as maintenance in the world of Applitools. Now let me go over an example to show you when the maintenance is needed. Let's say you ran a test that had three steps. The first time you run this test, all three steps are marked as new and are automatically considered as baseline images for all these three steps. Let's say you ran the same test again and it turns out step one was marked as a pass, but step two and step three were marked as unresolved. Now it is up to the QA engineer's job to decide what to do. Let's say step two was marked as unresolved because there was a new button for a new feature. In this case, since this is a new feature, you will want to mark this step as a pass by pressing the thumbs up button in the dashboard. This action behind the scenes will trigger an update to the baseline image for that specific test step. So that in the subsequent test runs, if this exact image shows up, it will be marked as a pass instead of unresolved. On the other hand, let's say that the difference in step three was because of a real bug, then you will want to mark that as a failure so that in the subsequent test runs, that specific test step will be marked as a fail if that exact same image shows up. Further, you could also adjust the checkpoint image using our region features such as ignore regions, floating regions and so on and mark the test as a pass. And all these manual intervention is called as maintenance. But keep in mind, this is for a single test step. In real world, there could be thousands of test steps that needs maintenance. And it's not an easy thing for the QA engineer to repeat this activity on each of those test steps. And that's where auto maintenance comes in. With auto maintenance, the QA engineer needs to do this on just one step and we will automatically find other steps with similar differences and update them accordingly. Let's look at our dashboard so that we can understand this better. What you see is our test dashboard. On the left hand side, you see a batch test run and on the right hand side, you see all the tests that were part of this specific batch. Now you may notice that there are multiple steps with the same test names. That's mainly because the same tests were run in different browsers or different viewports. And then you can click on individual tests to see test steps that are part of the same test. And you can also group by test name. You can group by the app name and you can group by various other things. So I just want to give you an idea as to um, how the test result look like. Now, if you notice up here, you will see that there are 76 unresolved test steps. That could be one tedious job to maintain all those things. Let me switch to a different view so that I can demo this better. Now, let me open up the first test step that's marked as unresolved and see what's going on there. What you see here is a single test step of one of the tests in the GitHub app. Now, I'm gonna click on this button to zoom in and see the first difference. It turns out the checkpoint image doesn't have the GitHub logo, whereas the baseline image has the logo in the top left corner. Now I'm gonna click on the same button to see if there are any more differences. It turns out there are no more differences. And since it feels like a bug, I'm gonna mark this step as a fail. But notice that the tooltip is saying that we now automatically look for similar steps and similar differences and reject all those steps as well. And further, not update the baseline because this is a failed step. Now let me go ahead and press the thumbs down button so that you can see the automated maintenance in action. Notice that when I press the button, there was a notification saying that it is searching for similar steps. And once it's done processing, you can click on the see details link in the notification itself 
to see all the details of what happened or in the top right corner on the bell icon to see all the details. And once you click on the see details link, you will see all the steps that were part of this auto maintenance. Now notice that all the test steps are marked as fail. And let's say you wanted to undo one of them. You can come here and then select one of those tests and then undo. Now let me go back and see how many more unresolved test steps are remaining. Looks like there are, we still have about 36 unresolved test steps. So let me scroll down. Okay, so I see a whole bunch of test steps that are in orange color, which is unresolved. So let me kind of arrange them so that they look next to each other and then we can clearly see all the differences. Okay, so it looks like the baseline has a black colored GitHub logo, whereas the checkpoint has a green colored GitHub logo. So they probably are running some kind of an experiment in which case, we, what we want to do is not mark it as a failure, but probably ignore it until the experiment ends. So let me go ahead and mark this region as an ignore region by clicking on that button and selecting the area around this green logo in the checkpoint image. And let me also apply this ignore region to similar steps in the scope. We will talk about the scope and details in a bit, but what's happening right now is that the automated maintenance has taken over and is searching and applying ignore regions to similar steps with similar differences within the scope. Next, let's click on the thumbs up button so that we can accept all those similar steps as a pass. Now that since it is saying all steps are resolved, I'm going to close this dialog box and then also close the editor and then take a look at all the changes that the auto maintenance has done. And as you can see, it has resolved all the test steps. And if you recall, all I did was to do a thumbs down in one of the test steps and add an ignore region and a thumbs up in another test step, just two test steps. Uh, and then the auto maintenance took over and did the rest of the work for me. Okay, I have gone ahead and have reset the demo so that I can show you another tool under the automated maintenance umbrella. And that is grouped by similar differences. As the name suggests, it compares every step with every other step within the scope to find similar differences and groups them together. Once it groups them, you can then take group action. For example, I can do a thumbs down for the first group and then a thumbs up for the second group and finally save all the changes. Now all the buttons and features under the automated maintenance umbrella, such as the thumbs up, thumbs down buttons, the apply region buttons, and the group by similar differences buttons all work under a concept called scope. Scope is simply a way to filter the test steps that should be part of the automated maintenance. To better explain what different scopes mean, let me switch to the documentation. Now the way to read this table is that the second column only applies to the group by similar differences operation, whereas the third column refers to the accept, reject, and region operations. Now for group by similar differences feature, the scope works as follows. The default scope uses all the steps within the batch. The batch scope also uses all the steps within the batch. The selected tests and selected steps only uses those tests and steps that are manually selected by the user. And finally, the current step is disabled because it's only applicable for accept, reject and region operations. Now, if you look at the accept, reject, and region operations column, the default scope includes all the steps that have the same test name and application name as the step upon which we are currently doing maintenance activity. Next, batch scope includes all steps in the batch. Next, the selected test includes all the manually selected tests. And the selected steps include all the manually selected steps. And lastly, the current step. Uh, this is only applicable to accept, reject, and region operations. Let me set up a demo so you can see how it works. Okay, here we have a demo Gmail application, and I have selected the scope to be current step. Now I'm going to select the region button. Now let's say I want to ignore all these tags. So I'm going to go ahead and then select one of them. And then I'm going to press this apply to other steps in the scope, which is the current step. And then you can see that it's automatically ignored all the tags in this current step. 
Now, just to summarize, as you saw, the automated maintenance automatically does maintenance for you and makes you highly productive. Check it out and let us know what you think. This is Raja Rao. Thank you for watching.